Yo, what's good, kings and queens? It's your boy, Don, and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and hit that every time I post, you heard. If you're not new to the channel, thank you for popping back out. Thank you for continuously showing love. I appreciate y'all to the fullest, you heard. Today, y'all, we got a great video. We're going to be watching 12 straight things that you will see in China, not in America, but in China, you are. So if you've ever been to China, or if you are in China, or if you're going to China, these are the 12 strange things that you are, you know, heavily possibly can see. So please be aware. Let me know in the comments below if you actually saw these things when you went to China, or if you are in China and these things actually do exist. I've never been, so I don't know. If you want to buy me a ticket, buy me too, you are. Thank y'all for popping out. Please follow on my social media. Everything is up there. Other than that, let's get right into the video, you are. Who replaced police dogs? Who can sit in a traffic jam instead of you? In this video, we'll tell you about really weird things about the most populous country in the world. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the that notification bell to join us on the bright side. Wow. So here we go. Geese replaced police dogs. In some parts of the country, Geese are used as an aid in law enforcement. According to a Chinese police chief, geese are very vigilant and brave. Nice. They also have perfect vision, and they spread their wings and attack when they see a criminal. Well, that's definitely an element of surprise. Right. Hopefully, geese won't be more effective than human police officers, as, as well, we don't want the unemployment rate to increase. But wait, what's the problem with dogs? Hmm? Pigeons are used to send messages. Or the Chinese certainly believe in birds. A special unit of the People's Liberation Army is training 10,000 birds to deliver critical messages in emergency situations. That's, That's nice. actually kind of smart. I want one so of if you find yourself in China with a dead mobile phone battery, you know what can help you send a short text mm -hmm. to your friends. A pigeon call. Canned air. The smog levels in China are extremely high. So manufacturers seriously sell cans of fresh air in yep. several different flavors. So while someone is making money out of thin air, ar, ar, let's grab a six pack of oxygen and have a party. Time zones. When the Communist Party started ruling China, they made the entire country live in a single time zone. The members of the party would help unite the nation. The problem is that in some parts of the country, the sun doesn't rise until 10 a.m. Imagine how difficult it must be for them to get up in the morning. Right. The Chinese even have their own time to keep up with the day and night cycle. Ghost cities. China's housing market is so fast-paced that there are entire ghost cities across the country. Okay. They have everything. Roads, malls, apartment buildings, but no, people. but no people. Only recently, people have started moving from rural areas into such cities. However, they still look pretty eerie. Wow. Nail houses. Some residents refuse to give up their place, and no one can make them do it. So, construction workers are forced to leave their territory untouched. You can literally live in the only apartment in your building. Traffic jam stand-ins. Have you ever dreamt of being paid for sitting in traffic? There is a fantastic job opportunity for you in China. If you are late for work because of a traffic jam, you can always call a special service that will send two people. One of them will take care of your car. The other one will drive you wherever you need to be on a motorbike. Okay. The entire rescue operation costs 400 yuan, about 60 bucks. Tell us in the comment section if you think it's worth the money. The Chinese can nap anywhere. They can have a noontime nap in any place. On trees, on the furniture they sell, on a motorcycle. Parked, of course. It is considered normal. Your productivity increases if you are well rested. Right. And so does your learning activity. Face kinis. Exactly like bikinis, but for the face. Surprisingly, people in China don't like suntans. So, to preserve their natural pale complexion, they put face kinis on when going I to the beach. I know those are uncomfortable. Wearing pajamas in public. Even if you're a grown-up man, it's okay for you to go outside your house wearing pajamas with cute little kittens. People even go shopping for food in this kind of outfit. Cockroach farming. If you're trying to eliminate cockroaches from your house, maybe you should take a moment to reconsider. 
The insects are specially bred and used in Chinese medicine. It's a booming business, proved to be a good investment you can pull a lot of money from nowadays. Nice. Cockroaches are believed to treat everything from heart diseases to dental problems. Okay, By the way, they're even used as an ingredient in toothpaste. Mmm. So, if you are going to China anytime soon, don't forget to pick up your own tube of toothpaste. That's a fact. Women rent boyfriends. The clock is ticking. Will you ever get married? That's what curious relatives often say. Now in China, there is a way to get rid of these annoying questions. You rent a boyfriend. He can just take a few pictures with you or even go to a family dinner and pretend to be in love with you. <laughs> Do you know any other weird things about China that we missed? I don't know. Tell us in the comment section below. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other weird things about China that y'all know about. A lot of, all of these things, I'm not going to lie, I did not know. That was crazy. Rent a boyfriend got it. I'm not going to lie. That's like, that's, that's very deep. Not going to lie. If you are in China, put down in the comments what part of China you're in. If you have seen or experienced any of these things that you saw in the video. If you're not in China, still put down in the comments where you're located. You are. If you ever been to China, talk to me nice. Whatever y'all want to say. Please follow on my social media. Everything is up there. I just posted another video before this one. Go check it out, y'all. It's viral. About to go post another one right after this, you heard? Y'all go see me there or be there or don't be there. No, be there, you heard? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It's all free, you heard? Thank y'all for popping out. See y'all in the next video, you heard? Peace. Love. Done.